Tech Tip 1739. My name's Megan, I'm a student here. It's my first semester at SVC. SVC. And uh, we've just gotten to the lab because of the crazy COVID thing. So I'm basically, first, first week I got to install an, uh, an AC panel, an inverter, a uh, battery charger, uh, mass quality, a 24 volt batteries, set in series. Got it all to work, got my light bulb to turn it on and my electricity to work through my outlets. Everything was working great and uh, super excited about it. So we come in the second week and it's time to do something that I'm very interested in, which is set it up and connect it to this digital uh, switching system, which is for Masterbolt as well, Masterbus system. So I go to set this thing up. I've got the battery set out here, got it all put together, looking great, and then I realized, oh, in order to interface with this, you gotta use a computer. Well, there was no place to set my computer to fit. So I had to move the battery back. Take the uh, leads off the battery, put it back there, just pop them back on, and uh, Mike comes over, we put the switch, and uh, that doesn't sound right. So no smoke, no flashes, no lights, just a completely ruined system. Because I had inadvertently, and I realized what had happened almost immediately, it was like, ah, I just did that. That was a completely rookie mistake, and I am a rookie. So anyway, I had reversed the polarity on the battery. I hadn't looked the second time, had not looked when I put those leads back up on the battery, and it just, obviously, electronics, most, uh, most electrical circuits do not like reverse polarity, and they do not have anything in there to protect it from that. So uh, tech tech, 1739, always check your polarity before you turn something on. Yep. That's well, my name is Woody Wentworth. I'm one of the instructors here at uh, Skagit Valley Tech, uh, a marine tech program, and I also run a business called Ice Boat Marine. And I'm here to tell you that it takes a truly, it takes a master technician to really screw things up big time. Megan is just playing on the fringes. Uh, I, the Skagit County landfill is full of carcasses of very expensive electronics that I have fried. I have fried inverters, um, I have uh, melted battery posts, I actually wear a rubber ring because I, I actually melted my gold wedding ring, custom built in New Zealand when we were sailing, to my finger and all but needed stitches, but now I wear a rubber ring. So anybody can and not check polarity, anybody can let loose of a battery cable at the wrong moment, anybody can touch a positive cable to an engine which is negatively charged at any moment and fry just about anything. But it really takes a few more years to really get to the big dollar items and not the stuff that, uh, that, that Megan is, is, is probably just some small circuit. And just to prove it, uh, just to prove it, I'm gonna show you a circuit board that also uh, built in, uh, uh, in the Netherlands. And this circuit board I managed to fry on a battery, a $5,000 battery now by inadvertently arcing across the, uh, the, this was just a few weeks ago, and I've been doing this a while. So with that, I'm gonna pass this uh, over to Art Hebert. Well, Woody, you're being very generous. I think the lesson that you wanna take from this tech tip is whenever you're working with a power source, whether it be a battery or whether it be alternating current, anytime you're dealing with an open circuit, you're going to be disconnecting and reconnecting wires. Slow down. Don't let anybody talk to you, especially if it's somebody like Woody. Because <laughs> the second that you take your hands away from what you're working on and look the other way, bad things will happen. He's being very generous. I destroyed that battery just by letting go of a lead to look at him while he was talking to me and just the spring in the wire arced across uh, a beautiful lithium ion battery bank and it didn't even really put up that much of a fight and it was over in under a second. I was right on it and yanked it right back off but it didn't matter, the battery was, uh, was toast. We've all done it, everybody in the so field and if you're not doing it, you're not, you're not you making mistakes. You haven't the battery yet, you're not working yet. Thank you. So moral of the story, whether it's been six days or 60 years, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> always check, double check, well, pay attention. All right. But you still have earned an award, Megan. <laughs> yes. So award, so. You did not know this part of it. So every year at uh, 
Marine I'll Tech. Come on, dude. Yeah, we have this uh, long-standing tradition, and um, since we can't have our commencement ceremony, we generally give this award out every okay, year. I already got it. And uh, well, we have to give it to somebody. Yeah, so no way this to graduate is the, first year. the golden dipstick. <laughs> And uh, it started when we had a student, Connor, who blew up an outdrive by shifting it at high speeds. We've had students maybe put fingers in table saws, and oh luckily they didn't get hurt because we have a saw stop. Um, we left students in Seattle on field trips, right? Yeah, did not. We've had students show up for an entire quarter who weren't registered or didn't even pay for their class, just hanging out. Um, yeah, all sorts of fun things that have happened every year, and the students get to take a Sharpie and autograph, so 2020, I think, Megan, All for right. almost letting the smoke out, is, you know, worthy of this awesome award that's going to live here at Marine Tech. There was not enough flashbang for this yeah, award, I don't yeah, think, you know. You got the COVID version, it dies in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you for just being humbly and saying, yep, yeah, stuff happens, but we're here learning, we're having fun, and that's what we wanted to share. So, yeah. when you come back in the fall, you can find this thing up. There you go, you're a NASCAR champion now. <laughs> Excellent. Watch out, that is a conductor. <laughs> right? The batteries are still wired. So I don't know where that power is going, but that's an open fuse. Go ahead.